Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Monday, December 14. It's the third uh, week of Advent and the scripture for this service. Psalms 41 and 52 and Matthew 24 verse 15 to 31. And please join me in singing the first verse of On Jordan's Bank. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Blessed are they that consider the poor, for you will deliver them in times of trouble. Psalms 41 and 52, and please recite them with me. Blessed are they that consider the poor, for you will deliver them in times of trouble. You will preserve them and keep them alive, and they shall be blessed on the earth. And you will not deliver them to the will of their enemies. You will strengthen them on their sickbed and tend to them in their illness. Be merciful to me and, tend and heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die? When shall his name perish? And even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their hearts gather iniquity to themselves, and when they go out, they tell it. All that hate me whisper against me. They plot together to cause my harm. They, an evil disease, they say, clings fast to him. And now that he lies down, he shall rise no more. And even my own friend, in whom I trusted, which ate of my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, my God, be merciful to me and raise me up, that I might repay them. By this I know that you favor me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. You uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. Blessed are you, God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Why do you boast of your evil, O mighty tyrant? The goodness of God endures continually. Your tongue plots evil like a sharp razor, working deceitfully. You love evil more than good and would rather tell lies than speak the truth. You love all hurtful words, you lying tongue. And God shall destroy you forever. God shall take you away and pluck you from your dwelling place and root you out of the land of the living. And the righteous shall see and fear and shall laugh at you. This is the one that did not take God for refuge, but trusted in the abundance of riches and relied on wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God, I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise you forever because of what you have done, and I will wait on your name, for it is good before your saints. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Blessed are they that consider the poor, for you will deliver them in times of trouble. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 24, beginning at verse 15. So when you see the desolating sacrilege standing in the holy place, as was spoken of by the prophet Daniel, then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. The one on the housetop must not go down to take what is in the house. The one in the field must not turn back to get a coat. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath, for at that time there will be great suffering. Such has not been found from the beginning of the world until now. No, and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no one would have been saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. And then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Messiah, or there he is, 
Do not believe it, for false messiahs and false prophets will appear and produce great signs and omens to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Take note, I have told you beforehand, so if they say to you, look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the suffering of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We declare your marvelous works and your goodness before all. Save us from evil and grant us your blessings forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.